Happy Friday. Thanks for clicking to WYTV.com. I'm meteorologist Ryan Halicki heading into the weekend. We'll be dealing with more of the same hot weather, humid conditions, spotty downpours and storms continuing to fire. And as we head further into the weekend and early next week, the pattern starts to change. We're also going to have to keep an eye on what is Hurricane Ida. This is going to make a landfall this weekend forecast to be a pretty potent storm. We'll talk more about that in a second. Let's walk through what to expect heading into your weekend. It stays humid for your Saturday. We're seeing dew points in that 70 degree range still feeling quite tropical out there and factoring the humidity in with the heat that I'm looking for those heat index readings. That's that feels like temperature. I expect them in the 90s during the hottest parts of the days on both Friday and or both Saturday rather and Sunday. We could see those though a little higher than what you're seeing here potentially mid to near upper 90s possible. So rain chances, they will also be a little elevated through your Friday evening. Could see a couple of hit or miss showers and storms and even into Saturday morning. That threat does still linger in the morning. If we have any rain around, I expect that to fizzle out toward late morning. That looks like our window to get the sun out and start boosting those temperatures, putting more juice in the atmosphere for additional hit or miss variety showers and storms. I want to emphasize both days this weekend have the risk for rain and thunderstorms. Everybody has the chance to see that, but not everyone will because these are going to be scattered about the area. However, if you find yourself stuck under one of these storms, they will produce very heavy rainfall as they work through the area. So that threat lingers through our Saturday evening, Saturday night after sunset. Most of these showers fizzle out. Can't completely rule out an overnight thunderstorm popping up. It would be very isolated though. And then Sunday we do this all over again. We'll heat things up as we go through the morning back to the upper 80s to near 90 in the afternoon through the afternoon some hit or miss variety downpours and storms that start to fizzle out as we get closer to Sunday night. Now the pattern will start to change Monday as a cold front arrives and that cold front what I'm watching with that is how it interacts with what is currently Hurricane Ida. As of the Friday late afternoon observation, it is a category one storm, but this is going to strengthen the uh, environment in the Gulf of Mexico, primed and ready to uh, for further strengthening of this tropical system forecast to be a major hurricane around potentially category four strength and a landfall around Louisiana as we get to the latter part of the weekend. What I'm concerned with for our forecast is where it goes once it moves inland. Now it will start moving north. The latest data coming in as of our Friday evening is looking like the best case scenario for us in that it starts to take that eastwardly jog. Now that would keep a lot of that tropical moisture a little further to the south. However, not all of the data keeps it that far south. And if it were to take this more northerly track, as some of the data does show, some of the more reliable data is suggesting, well, that puts some of that tropical moisture a little closer to the valley, and it's going to keep that risk for rain and storms through at least the middle part of the week, especially to the south of Youngstown. So there are still going to be some fine tuning that will be going on through the weekend for our forecast as we get to Tuesday and Wednesday. We'll continue to update that and monitor that. But here's what to plan for heading into your weekend. No changes to your hassle factors, heat, humidity, the risk for downpours and also pockets of fog staying on the hassle factors list. 69 degrees are low. That's much like the last several nights. We'll have a chance for an isolated shower or storm overnight and also during the morning. By late morning, that threat does come down a bit. And what I'm looking for is for the clouds that are out there to break up, the sun to come out and temperatures heating up upper 80s to near 90 degrees, feeling like it's in the 90s. Spotty downpours and storms, hit or miss variety. So if you wanted to do some yard work or try and cool off by the pool, you'll have the chance to do that and you may just have to keep an eye on the sky there and watch for any of those storms popping up. We'll have a small chance for some rain Saturday night. Uh, most of us staying dry there and then Sunday same setup here. Monday's when that risk for rain and storms starts climbing a little higher as that cold front approaches. It'll bring a lot more clouds around which keep our temperatures from warming as much and then into Tuesday and Wednesday. That's where we start watching for impacts from Ida. Now for Tuesday as that cold front tries to move through on Monday, Ida may block that from being able to completely settle through. That scenario would result in scattered rain around the area for our Tuesday and keeps the clouds around. So that's what I'm watching. If we can see Ida take a more southerly track, 
that may allow this cold front to settle through a little further to our south, which would result in nicer weather into our Tuesday and also into Wednesday. So those are the changes that we'll be looking for and we'll be monitoring for any uh, fine tuning that we have to do to the forecast for the middle of next week. The latter part of next week, though, Ida out of the picture, and that's when we look for things to start drying out. We get some sunshine out there a little cooler as highs next week drop into the 70s.